So, after heavy deliberation, and by deliberation I mean I just really don't give a fuck at this point, I am going to discuss the elephant in the room, and no, it was not WWE firing Big Cass and them saying they're not wishing him well in his future endeavors, so basically that means they want his life to be miserable because he dare went ahead and go off script for like three seconds. But besides that, this is basically my personal fuck you to Vince. You see, there was an announcement made over the week, last week I believe, that Triple A Wrestling, I, 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 try, I would try and pronounce his name, but I am not good at pronouncing it, so I'm just calling it Triple A, and Ring of Honor were being contacted by Madison Square Garden to, hey, uh, could you come in and host a show? We, we would love to see a wrestling show be hosted on here. And I was like, okay, Madison Square Garden's like, like yeah, let's do it. Let, let's bring in more wrestling companies. Let's give them a venue to work with. And here's the thing. Despite... The fact that WWE had been doing most of its New York business when it comes to live event TV shows or pay-per-views is mostly been in Brooklyn's Barclays Center, and Madison Square Garden has been now been reduced to a um, live event showing, and not a pay-per-view or a Raw episode, which is sad. Like it's like they don't give cares anymore, but when. Word broke out that Madison Square Garden was looking elsewhere for, for for new prospects to say, "Hey, we want to host a wrestling show at your play at our place, like Ring of Honor and and Triple A." The company, specifically Vince McMahon and his cronies, are not happy about this because that would break a streak for Vince. You see, if a company other than WWE was to run a wrestling show at the main Garden venue. It would be the first non-McMahon promoted wrestling event there in almost a hundred years. That's a big deal. That would have been a sign of the changing times that people are now looking forward to other promotions. That Ring of Honor is there, AAA is there, New Japan Pro is coming. And it was said that apparently the event was going to happen around WrestleMania 35 weekend. And that probably would have been where Super Card of Honor was going to happen. And that would have actually been fairly interesting. And that would also have derailed WrestleMania booking there. Since they were also going to be around New York, New Jersey. Where WrestleMania 29 was held. And I went to that. And I hated a, hated a majority of the show. But I'm not getting into that. <laughs> so. Vince McMahon is not happy. Because he's that petty. Now. I could just dismiss it from there and move on, but no. Vince had to reach Nirvana. He had to reach Nirvana of pathetic pettiness. For you see, today earlier, while I was at work, I received messages from Twitter, from various wrestling sites I follow, that Madison Square Garden had canceled their plans with Ring of Honor to host a wrestling event in 2019. What? Now, there could have been a variety of reasons. Well, here's what was said. The, um, I believe it was the, C the COO of Ring of Honor, Joe Coff, said this, told PW Insiders Mike Johnson this, I'm not going to discuss beyond this statement because I'm not going to litigate this in the press. We had a deal with Madison Square Garden and then they told us where they were backing out after communications with WWE. We are not able to get any other dates for any kind of discussion. I'm expecting that our lawyers will be contacting all parties involved and the best we can hope for is that we can find a resolution so we can bring the kind of energy and excitement that Ring of Honor and our partner New Japan Pro Wrestling to a bigger audience into bigger areas and to fans of New York City. Please note, they backed out of this deal because they talked with Vince in WWE. Vince McMahon blocked them from going to the show. From making a show there. Okay. Where do I start? Um, 
Okay, uh, let's see. If I was to do this in a vlog and not an audio recording, I would be pretending to hold up a bunch of signs saying uh, this. Uh, fuck you, Vince. Uh, fuck you, Kevin Dunn. Fuck all your kiss asses who work for you. Uh, basically, you're t and also you're telling all your employees to go fuck themselves because I would like to stress, um, isn't a majority of your wrestlers mostly Ring of Honor veterans? And some of them you're pushing to the extreme. Uh, let me think of some names. Uh, Samoa Joe. Uh, Undisputed Era. Daniel Bryan. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn. Uh, let's see. Who else was in Ring of Honor? Oh, wait. AJ Styles. And if you also add the New Japan Pro Wrestling deal, all the New Japan wrestlers, such as uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and... Uh, um, let's see who else was there. Uh, the the Luke Gallus and Carl Anderson the club. Oh, I forgot to mention Luke Harper worked in Ring of Honor. Uh, yeah. Um, as I'm saying, there was a lot of people who were in Ring of Honor that are now in WWE. And I'm pretty sure they were all proud to hear that their former home, the place that they built, that they helped build got this big deal and they were going to make history with it make a break a record that was there for sent for a century now and now they've been hearing that vince blocked the blocked their their old company from hosting a show there okay if this does not prove that something is seriously wrong with vince upstairs then i'm afraid i've lost hope for people like, the board of directors should vote no confidence on Vince after this. He is trying to monopolize a deal. Like, and here's the thing that scares me a little bit. What did Vince threaten Madison Square Garden with? That honestly kept making me boggle my mind. Like, what did he threaten them with? Legal action? Well, they can't really do that because Vince would be basically admitting he has a monopoly on the hands and... I'm pretty sure there are, the government's still after those monopolies, to an extent. Uh, which is why Disney and Fox's deal has not been completely finalized, and Comcast wants in on it. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. How do I also describe this? Um, can we also go with potential employee abuse allegations and discriminatory policies, since you tend to treat a lot of NXT people like crap? When they're on the main roster, like it's a hostile work environment. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure a lot of the smaller promotions can claim that Vince is making a monopoly now because he's basically abusing his authority and thinking, I'm top dog. I don't need all those old shows for existing. I'm going to go buy them out. I'm going to bankrupt them. I'm going to hold their talents hostage. I'm going to hold the arenas hostage. Because... And here's the thing. Did Vince threaten that they told them we will not host another show there? Well, who cares? Because WWE doesn't really do actual events there. They just do live house shows. So really, Madison Square Garden would be making more money in an idyllic sense if they went with Ring of Honor and Double and Triple A. Or any other promotion that has a lot of money that could host a show there. Apparently, I keep hearing that the reason why WWE doesn't make a live showing on TV is because it costs more. If so, that's stupid. Like, you would think that with what I last heard, if Madison Square Garden is still shutting down in a few years, if, if that's correct still, uh, wouldn't they want to have a show to end it all out and give a final farewell, a final hoorah for, for um, Madison Square Garden, the place that birthed? That gave basically a home for Vince and the company. And now Vince is like, uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm not sharing my pie with everybody else. This is my pie. <sighs> okay. So, as you can tell, I'm mad. I am royally mad. Because I, and so many others... We're excited for this, showing that, yeah, independent wrestling is not a hardcore wrestling fandom. It's becoming mainstream. It's getting more attention. Like, you got on, like, and here's the thing. This is like, 
How many parts to this whole, I can put on a conspiracy and list a whole bunch of ideas of what Vince can do with this abuse allegation system he's going with, where he, where everyone's, where everyone has a different mentality and then he'll just destroy anybody who gets in his way. Like, Jimmy Jacobs takes a picture with Bullet Club, he gets fired. Uh, let's see. Cord Gr CM Punk defies WWE management and tries to strike out on his own. Oh no no, Vince McMahon's triggered and makes Corey Graves look like an idiot. And even if Corey Graves did it, did it himself, that just makes him look more like a dumbass. Uh, let's see. Um, the too sweet gesture? Oh no no, that offends Vince. He's gonna claim he owns it, even though he has, should have no rights to legally claim ownership over a freaking hand gesture. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I said this, like, we can spin this in any way we can. Like, okay, so are you going to, once the NXT UK launches, since it's coming out in Ju July, and I hopefully we'll get a video before, sometime after, but anyways, um, in this sense, does that mean once the NXT UK launches, does that mean all the UK wrestlers are no longer allowed to go anywhere else? Like, some of those promotions have somewhat financial ties with WWE, like, Pro I'm, I, I'm not, I don't think it was Progress Up, but it has Pete Dunne and the British Strong Style on there. Would they forbid them from attending to other companies that they already have commitments with? Like, it's been reported that WWE said that they were going to let them go wherever they want, but then Vince backed out on that and restricted the life out of it. Say, you can't go to dot 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 dot, and these are the shows that you can go to that have some connection with us. You know, if it's someone we approve. So, yeah, um... <laughs> like... Why do people want to work there now, nowadays? Why do people still work there? They can, like, I know some of them are bound to contracts and they'll get sued. And I get that there are a lot of people who are probably staying because they know once Triple H takes over, things are going to get better or at least improve or start to gradually get better from Vince McMahon's dictatorial damage control issues. But, um, yeah... I think they should just call it quits here for a while and just wait until Vince McMahon gets thro thrown out of power or, you know, has XFL occupying his time and then come back and say, hey, I want to work with Triple H again. Because the fact that Vince thinks that he owns this wrestling industry, he owns sports entertainment and believes, well, if they don't want to share, then I'm not going to share. In fact, I wasn't even going to share it to begin with. Like, remember the ECW Rise and Fall documentary? Vince McMahon had said he wanted to promote ECW because he thought it was, quote, good for the business. I'm pretty sure Vince will look at that documentary, grab a chair, and throw it at the TV screen thinking that man's a complete idiot. Even though he completely would forget he was talking to him. He was talk he that was him at the time, back in the 90s. He would probably think that's a completely different guy or has been changed by an alien and he's been warped by this expectation of reality and think it's something entirely different, that that's not him. He would never say something like that, except he did and aliens did not do that. But Vince is insane, so he'll probably think of some conspiracy on that. So, yeah. And I wonder, how does Paul Heyman feel? Like... He got a big break with WWE and helped share some stuff and got some helping from WWE. And now, if he had ECW around today, Vince would probably give him a big middle finger and tell him to F off, get out of my business. And here's the thing. If Vince somehow has the power to block sh companies from going to specific venues, what's stopping him from doing it to other venues across the country? Like, I'm not going to say the entire world because Vince hasn't had a global expansion like that yet. Or a reach of that hold. But, yeah, what if he blocks New, New Japan from coming to America? Like, they're already trying to talk about, okay, how do we, let's, okay, New Japan and All In are coming for us. So we need to go ahead and buy out their talent, raid them, steal their talent, and then we can do whatever we want. Because they don't want competition. Because that's scary to them. Uh, 
because competition would have been innovating and challenging, and Vince can't do that anymore. Like, if anyone was thinking about going to WWE after this, they should probably just say, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm going to go back to Ring of Honor or anywhere else and basically use it as my personal platform to say, F you, Vince. And you want to know the one thing I'm actually hoping for? I'm hoping for someone who's a WWE veteran to come on Ring of Honor and stick it to WWE on the mic. Rip them to shreds on betting Cody Rhodes. But, like... Yeah, the, the Young Bucks did that after the whole litigation of the whole We have the rights to head gestures even though that really makes no sense. Because that would be fairly interesting to see Cody Rhodes just burn the bridge that is seriously needed to be burned. So... Yeah, th this is... I'm hoping Ring of Honor can get back their deal. But I don't know how AAA is going to handle the situation. Like, Ring of Honor is no longer getting allowed to have a show there. But AAA, no update on them. So, let's see how this plays out. I want to see Ring of Honor get that deal back. If nothing more than to be more motivated than ever to say, We can stand our own. They don't need you, Vince. This is a market. This is the free market. Damn you, free market, Vince McMahon would proclaim. So, yeah. I'm pissed off. Fans everywhere are pissed off. They want justice. They want Madison Square Garden to reconsider and not listen to Vince's stupidity. And Vince McMahon should really be called into account about his psyche. And the board of directors should start saying something. In fact, I'm curious as to know what does Triple H think about this? Like, he's been recently been saying he's open to working with other companies. He's even been working with Evolve at times, shows up at their shows, uh, also has the UK talents go to their promotions and still work out and everything, and even show the UK title around. That just makes me think, is he pissed off? Like, Triple H should know that a lot of his stuff is hybrid Ring of Honor to an extent. Like, a lot of the stuff... Ring of Honor has is copied in NXT to an extent and just give a more better techie format feel. But, like, seeing this, like, there has to be a power struggle right now. There has to be some argumentative attitude going on between Triple H and Vince McMahon. Like, Big Cass, they were on common ground. Like, Big Cass was doing stuff backstage. Then I also think it had to do with the talent not liking him because he's a Donald Trump supporter, which I kept hearing that's what he was. And if so, they could make him a heel. They could have made him a heel on that, but that would have been really divisive. But they did the Ginger Mahal promos and racist comments, so that's not really surprising if they did that. But I digress. So yeah, Vince, you pissed me off again. I'm still pissed off. I'm still about not been watching any of the main roster shows. Uh, I haven't watched NXT. Or 205 Live, because soon I'll be on vacation, and I'll be giving out a channel update and vacation video, which will be deleted after I get back, but I'll give you an update of what's going to happen on that. So, those were my thoughts on Vince McMahon's epic painness of Narvada achieved, and all hail to him his patheticness. About Ring of Honor and Madison Square Garden's deal. This was Neo Reality Entertainment. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and donate to two for more.